So your turkey's roasted. You've had your huge meal, you had your sweet potatoes or your regular basic mashed potatoes, you had your green beans, you had your cranberry sauce, you had your stuffing. So what do you do with those leftovers? What I really love doing is turkey noodle soup. And I made chicken noodle soup with the chicken that we roasted for the last video. And it came out super delicious. Really sorry that I didn't shoot it because I was just super hungry one night and I needed a good filling dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I do for my turkey noodle soup. It's super easy. You can use anything that you've got left over from your big dinner that you had and just put it in a pot and that's your soup. It sounds easy enough. It can be easy enough. Who wants to make more of a fuss after you fussed over your whole fancy meal? So that's what we're going to be doing today on Sweetly Savory. Well, the night before, or sometime before, you start with your soup base here. The best way to get your soup base is to boil down your carcass. And super easy, all you do is fill a pot, like stock pot like this with water, and then you put in your carcass, and there you go. That's the, gonna be the basis of your soup because you've already got all of your flavoring from your, your actual meal. Careful not spill on yourself, flash. You wanna take off as much meat from the bones as possible, that way, like waste not want not that's as simple as that so we're just gonna let this warm up we did freeze this overnight because Evan wasn't sure when I was gonna be making the soup I figured you know what we need to have all that turkey meat ASAP otherwise it's gonna go bad and we don't want bad leftovers in the fridge so took it out of the freezer and we're gonna make this soup up today super easy to defrost that and uh, we're just gonna let it heat up We'll get more of our meat and veggies that were left over from our roast. And then we'll be able to put everything in the Big Happy Pot. So let's skip over and get the rest of our soup ingredients. In these bowls here, we've got our um, leftover veggies and mixture of meat. So I cut up my sweet potatoes uh, I had roasted those for about an hour. They're like these little tiny mini ones. Um, you roast them for about an hour um, with some olive oil and some coarse sea salt. And that's not gonna make your sweet potato salty. It's just gonna enhance the flavor of the potato. And they came out like candy. It was amazing. So that I've got these, ro uh, these sliced up in here. They might get a little bit mushy in the soup and that's okay because it'll kind of make it like a, a creamier, thicker soup uh, instead of having like a, a chunk potato in there. And I've got the celery and some onion that we had in with our roast up on the sides. You can definitely go ahead and add those veggies. Why not, why waste those at all? And here we've got the meat that cooked off of the carcass as we were making the stock last night. And I've got some mushrooms that were used for the stuffing. I'm gonna put those into the soup and for like a little kind of crouton topping to go on the soup I'm gonna start up the oven I'm gonna put it at about 400 because I've got a gas oven so you, if you've got electric you'll want to do 350 I'm gonna lay out a sheet uh, a baking sheet with some foil on it put out my stuffing and turn it into a little crouton -y things at least to dry it out and maybe not dried out too bad, but just re rebake it, bring some baked life back to it. And then we can put that on top of our soup for a little something different and not gonna be wasting that stuffing. The stuffing was just so tasty. So you've got all of your favorite components. Let's go ahead and put our veggies here into our stock along with our meat. And it looks like Evan was nice enough last night to cut up the meat. So 
we didn't have we didn't have to worry about that later. Why do why put off for tomorrow what you can do today? And you're probably thinking, you know, Kathleen said this was turkey noodle soup. Where are the noodles? We're talking about the turkey and the vegetables and the stuffing. The stuffing. And where are these noodles that you're talking about? So I'm gonna go ahead and use some egg noodles. These are uh, Smart Taste ones. They're not sponsored. They add fiber to your meal. Really great way to kind of sneak that into your diet. You can also use just regular egg noodles if you want, like the no yolks. Those are so tasty. But I try to sneak in fiber wherever I can. So these are a really great option. You know, I'm always looking for something alternative to sneak in uh, a vegetable or um, a protein or a legume or something like that. I mean, chickpeas everywhere. I'm the chickpea queen. So I'm going to go ahead and get my water boiling for my pasta. That'll take about seven to eight minutes after the water has been brought to a boil. And that'll be just enough time for you to subscribe to Sweetly Savory. You can do that up here. Uh, please go ahead and like this video down in the description if you really are enjoying it. If not, leave me a comment of what I can possibly do better. Uh, I really like to see some comments uh, generated, be appreciated to get some feedback going. Um, I love this channel and I'm having a lot of fun making it, so I hope you're having fun watching it. I like seeing it grow, so thank you so much to all of my subscribers and sticking around, keep watching every week. and. We'll be back in a bit to see this start to come together. We're gonna go ahead and get our foil on our baking sheet here so that we can get the stuffing back into the oven. We're gonna get it nice and toasty warm, hopefully crisp it up a little bit. If my thinking is going to be right, then this is going to be a super rad idea to top our turkey noodle soup with. Oven's preheated, water's boiling for the noodles. Let's get going with this stuffing. Now, as you can see, we just dumped all of our leftovers into this delightful bowl here. And I had put my stuffing yesterday, or for the big day, into muffin tins, because that's such a fun way to serve it up. You can just take it right out, and everybody's got their own perfect little portion right there. And we put all of our leftovers into this one giant bowl, instead of having a conglomerate of containers sifting through the fridge. <laughs> that is quite an image. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the rest of my stuffing that's in a separate container. The water's almost come to a boil. We've got, so we'll be able to put our pasta in shortly. Got the rest of our stuffing here. And I don't use any specific recipe for stuffing. I get box stuff because it's easy. Then I add my own accoutrement, if you will. I add my own flair to it of uh, some celery, onion, and I did garlic because I had some garlic cloves in the fridge. And I just saute that up in the butter that's recommended for the recipe. And then I add less butter to the water after when you're going to put the uh, crumble bread in there. I think that might be enough. And that way we have some leftover for other leftovers. Leftover party. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven. I'm just gonna do half this bag so that we have some that we can cook up for us later. There's not really enough room in the fridge for more leftovers on top of all the leftovers that we have. So you're going to set a timer for your desired cooking. Um, I'm going to do seven minutes for my egg noodles or egg noodles. You can cook them as long as you'd like. Um, it really depends on the consistency that you like your pasta to be. I'm going to go ahead and check my soup here. 
This is heating up very nicely. I mean, it's so simple. It's soup. You could just eat this as a sheet pan dinner, put everything out on a baking tray and heat it up in the oven and eat it that way. But soup, you really want comfort food this time of year. And soup is the ultimate comfort food. I mean, there's chicken and dumplings, there's beef stew, there's um, beef stroganoff. This is probably one of the easiest ways to get all of your leftovers into one container and just gobble them all up. Gobble. And see, what I, see what I did there? It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be wonderful. We'll be back in a little bit and show you the rest of this. Our pasta is done. Our egg noodle pasta. Our soup is totally warmed up. The stuffing has been in the oven for about 15 minutes. I'd say, oh yeah, I definitely say that it's done. Safety first. Perfection. Let's go ahead and get this all together. Oh, super happy that these sweet potatoes stayed whole. That's pretty rad. Mmm, not as dry as I thought it would be, but that that's a-okay. I mean, we're just trying things out. I didn't want to like burn the stuffing. I just wanted to make it a little something different to top my soup with here. Here we have our turkey noodle soup. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. A breath the that broth is dynamite and you don't even have to do anything special to the broth if you season your bird right your soup is just gonna be easy peasy let's go ahead and oh yeah oh, that sweet potato is broken off so jumble so flavorful and just use all the flavors that you had from the day before or from your big meal. Say you wait a couple of days and make this, although I don't really recommend it because you want to have your um, turkey as soon as possible after it's been put into the fridge. You don't want to get sick from that. So I recommend having it like the next day or the day after. But you use those flavors, it's going to be amazing. And even if you save the stock, say you make your stock and you freeze it, you can have that up to a couple months later. And maybe you make another um, roast turkey or you just get some, like a turkey breast or something and you want to just make a soup with that and you got like other vegetables that are not from that meal. You can use the base of your soup for, for your other components and it's gonna have that first day flavor right from this get-go and it's turkey stock or chicken stock any kind of stock is just amazing like that it's going to bring you back to those original flavors you're not going to be wasting anything so i really hope that you make this um comfort dish for your leftovers um really hope you enjoyed this video too i uh, appreciate it if you drop a like down at the bottom there in the description go ahead and subscribe to sweetly savory sweetly savory if you haven't already and thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time when we make something else delicious.